الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Certainly all praises belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for he is the creator, sustainer and controller of the universe and all within and we invoke his peace and blessings upon his noble messenger his family, his companions and all those who follow them in righteousness until the end of time and may Allah the exalted cause us to be among them Dear brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Our hadith today insha'Allah is related to our discussion about the greetings, the salam uh, On Tuesday we talked about this, uh, the greetings that we have and in as much as it may seem as a, an ordinary mundane thing we do every day or every time we run into each other this greeting has major significance and uh, it's an important aspect of building good relationships in our lives as Muslims so in this hadith the Prophet ﷺ, he said Min among the signs of the hour and as you uh, may very well know, there are two types of signs of the hour. There are signs that are considered major or classified as major. And these are the signs, the major ones are the ones that indicate that the hour is quite close. It's, it's imminent. Despite that, we still don't know exactly in terms of years or months when it will happen. That is a knowledge that Allah has exclusively kept for himself. But the major signs indicate that the hour is actually very, very close. And then there are minor signs. Signs that indicate that we are, you know, heading towards the hour. But it's not, as we might say, uh, imminent. But nevertheless, they still indicate some, uh, you know, relative closeness to the hour. So in this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ mentions uh, two signs of the hour and these are two of what we call or what the scholars have labeled as the minor signs. So they indicate that the hour, you know, we're, we're heading towards that. We're kind of close but not imminently close. The Prophet ﷺ says, مِنْ أَشْرَاتِ السَّاعَةِ From among the signs of the hour, أَنْ يَمُرَّ الرَّجُلُ بِالْمَسْجِدِ وَلَا يُصَلِّ فِيهِ رَكْعَتَيْنِ that a person would pass through the masjid but he will not take the time he will not stop to pray two rak'ah we all know brothers and sisters that the prophet alayhi salam in a number of ahadith in the sahih in sahih al-bukhari he strongly encouraged anyone who entered the masjid that they should pray two rak'ahs before they sit down and in some ahadith he says let him, uh, let, let him not sit down until he prays too. And in other hadith, he says, pray too before you sit down. So one of the signs of the hour is when a person comes into the masjid and they don't take the time. The short time, of course, that it takes to perform two rakats of tahiyyatul masjid. This, you know, reflects the, the detachment that people will have with the masjid. Yes, we may come to the masjid for salah, but an attachment to the masjid is much more than simply coming to the masjid for salah. The Prophet ﷺ in another hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, he mentions that there are seven types of people or seven categories of people whom Allah will shade on, on, under his shade. On the day when there is no shade except his shade. This is how the Prophet ﷺ puts it in the hadith. Sabaatun yudhilluhumullahu fi dhillihi yawma la dhilla illa dhillu. On the day when there is no shade but his shade. And among the, uh, the seven categories, the Prophet ﷺ, he said, وَرَجُلٌ قَلْبُهُ مُعَلَّقٌ بِالْمَسَاجِدِ A person whose heart is attached to the masjid. A person whose heart is attached to the masjid. So, the one who comes to the masjid, even if it's for some other business, 
and they take the time to perform two rakats of Tahiyatul Masjid, this is an indication that that person's heart is attached to the Masjid. So that's one sign. The second sign though is the one that relates with our discussion regarding the greetings, the tahiyyah or the salam. He says, yusallima illa ala man ya'rif. Another sign of the hour is that a person does not greet except those whom he knows. This is a sign of the hour. Because the Prophet ﷺ has strongly encouraged us to greet those whom we know and those whom we don't know. Because if we greet only those whom we know, what happens is slowly we begin to you know, become cliques in the community. But as Muslims, we need to bridge these gaps. And everybody should become one group or one clique, so to speak. Not little groups within the larger group. And the way to bridge that gap is to greet people. As I've said uh, on Tuesday, the very first step in, in getting to know somebody and in uh, forming any, any kind of relationship or bond with a, a person is to first of all speak to that person. And for us as Muslims, the first words we utter as we speak to anyone is the greeting, the salam. And then after that, you know, uh, we, we, we can talk about other things. This is why some scholars say, As-salamu qabla al-kalam. The greetings come before other speech, other talk. We greet first and then we talk about other things. So this is the really the very first step in the building of relationships and in the breaking down of barriers, in the breaking down of these groups and cliques that people have. Just give salams to everybody. And as you do that a couple of times, there is a closeness that will, uh, that will begin to form. In fact, after two or three times, that person whom you did not know will become a person that you know. So as soon as you see him or her, you recognize them, you greet them again. So giving the greetings only to those whom we know, you know who are from our clique, our group, country, whatever, and not doing so for those whom we don't know, this is a sign of the hour. So this greeting that seems mundane and ordinary, you can see it's an important part of our lives as Muslims. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove from our hearts all the ill feelings and the animosity or the hatred we might feel for each other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite our hearts and may he cause us to live together as brothers and as sisters. May he protect us from going astray and protect us from the whisperings of shaitan who seeks, of course, to bring about bad blood between people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us our good deeds, forgive for us our mistakes and shortcomings, and may he keep us firm in the straight path. And may he cause us to be among those who greet those whom they know and those whom they don't know. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُ